Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Stephanie and I love everything planner related. So I hope that you'll stick around and consider subscribing for weekly videos. But for today's video, I am going to be planning in my Go Get A Girl catch up planner. And I thought that I would use Wrong Wrong Self Love sticker book. I just need all of the self love that I could get this week. So I felt like this was the perfect sticker book. And this does have a lot of purple. So I did want to break that up by adding pink. And so I'm going to be adding my pink grid washi along with my salmon clean color dot just to break up the purples just a little bit and then my lovely subscriber cassandra mentioned that we are able to start our new go get a girl planners so i quickly rushed over to luna star and started flipping through it and so i came to the monthly view and then the vision board and then that led me to the first weekly spread which is june 27th through july 3rd which is perfect but when you switch over to the daily view we only get july 1st through july 3rd which is friday saturday and sunday and i really need those other pages and so i decided not to start my new planner this week just because it was a shorter week in this new planner so i'm still going to stick to my um regular planner my planted pink planner and so i'm just going to finish that off because we have monday through the weekend and then we have the ending pages here so i just want to finish this whole planner out before i start my new planner and it does include all of the daily pages so i definitely want to stick to that but definitely let me know if you guys already started your new go get a girl planners or if you're going to finish your current planner that you're in so definitely let me know down in the comments down below so i want to grab my um simply smith stickers as well so let's get rid of my note cover and if you guys remember last week i started off on the wrong foot i was actually planning this week and if you remember i started placing stickers down and then i quickly realized that i was on the wrong week so i flipped to the correct week so let me go ahead and show you what ended up happening so this lovely mess is left over just because I started planning this week and it was the wrong week. So I did lay a sticker down here, but I was able to quickly take that one out and it's nice and clean. But I think I left this one a little bit too long and I think maybe that's why this whole situation was left behind. But there's nothing a little sticker can't cover up. So that is definitely the plan. So let's go ahead and start looking in here. There's just so many cute stickers. So I thought that I would use like these double um, stickers to cover that whole mess up. So I'm thinking that I maybe want to use these two combined. I could do these ones, but I think I like the placement of these two and as you can see there's a lot of purples in this sticker book and a few pinks here and there but mostly purple so i thought that it would be great to like add more pink so i'm thinking maybe something like this and i think that's gonna cover it up really well at least i hope it is so let's see let's start by laying this one down first and then this one oh no I think I think I should have placed this one down just a little bit more because I definitely want to cover this up okay see we're already not starting great but we're just going to make it work. We're definitely going to do things right this week. Okay. So there we go. And I'm completely fine with that. So that did cover up most of the residue that was left behind. And I know that I can use undo. Actually, my subscriber, Jamie, just brought it up. And if you watch one of my other videos, I can't remember which one it was, but I did mention that undo terrifies me. Just the thought of my page getting wet, I I can't deal with that. And so I tend to stay away from 
um, undo. So I, I don't know. I just don't like it. So I prefer to just put a sticker over it. So let's see. I do need my little next week stickers here. And there's a few of these stickers to use. So let's see. Okay, so we have this one here, which has a cute little vacuum with florals on it. But this one already has a header, and I don't think I want to cover it up. So let's actually use another one. Maybe I could use these two since we're already using like this color scheme with the purples going on. Yeah, I think that's going to be a much better idea. So I think I'm going to do something like this. I think so. So let's place this one down first and then place this one just on top kind of like um staggered over here okay perfect that way i can jot down what is coming up for the following week so i do need my simply smith script stickers and that way i can just add it up here and finish it off i just think that these script stickers just make everything so much cuter and finish it off completely okay so now that we have that done let's go ahead and look over here look at how beautiful these stickers are and i do have a little flip through of this sticker book in case you guys are interested i will link it down below and at the end of the video as well just in case you guys want to check it out so let's see i do want a few boxes over here maybe either a double one i think i'll do a double one just because these are regular sized So I can either do this one or this one. I think I'll do this one. She is way too pretty not to use. And then, did I want to go ahead and layer her over something else? So we have her here, so I can't use her. I don't want to cover them up, so maybe something like this. I think that could look cute. So I can't wait to plan my monthly views and next week because I am super excited about the stickers that I am going to be using. So you guys definitely want to stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss that because I am just so excited over the stickers that I'm going to use. And it's going to be July and 4th of July and the fireworks and all of that good stuff. So let's see. How did I want to layer this? Okay, so those boxes are really in the way. So I think I'm going to need to do something like this. Unless I just want to lay her down here. And I think that's what I'm maybe going to do. I don't want to overcrowd it, so I think that's going to be good. But I feel like I'm missing something on the left-hand page now, since I wasn't able to stagger these stickers like I wanted to. I definitely should have put that one a little bit lower, but we're just going to work with that. And then, where did I put my today and to-do stickers? They're right over here. So, I like using the today ones in my weekly spread. 
like doesn't that just bring it together i think it does now i'm almost done with this page and i do have a backup one so i'm ready to go and so that one already says plan so we'll do the today there and then i don't know i feel like i'm missing something over here and i usually always come back to that page just because I don't know. I feel like that's how I've always done it. So maybe I can put like a little quote there. Like I love this page. Isn't this page just so pretty? I love how everything has florals, of course, and then they're pink and then purple. So it is so perfect. Okay, so I don't think I want to use any more Fashion Girls since there's quite a bit of them already on the stickers that I laid down. So I like this Start Somewhere sticker. So I feel like I want to use maybe like cute little decorative stickers. Not the fitness one. Not these ones. I'm kind of loving like this right here. Okay, where, oh, the quote is right here. But would it go well with it? Well, yeah, we have some purple flowers there. And then the quote is purple. So I do think it's going to work very well, actually. Okay. And I am really itching to start using the new Go Get a Girl layout. So I was pretty bummed that I wasn't able to start um, the new planner, but I really needed my other pages. So I'm super bummed, but that just makes me that much more excited too eventually start it okay so i cut that in like the edge just a little bit so i can just place it like up against the the line there and then maybe i can place this one maybe right here okay perfect functional stickers here and then decorative stickers over here so i really like that am i able to do anything over here on the right hand side i love that these quotes already have some like decorative elements some of them and then some don't so i do love both of those Look at these bottles. I just think they're so perfect. Oh, and actually they're individual. So that's good to know. Maybe I can use these right here. And what could these be? These kind of look like rocks. I don't know. And I feel like rocks if we're talking about self-care i don't know much of anything like getting a massage or a spa or anything like that but i think i've seen like hot rocks being placed for some reason i don't know what they do but this reminds me of that so hopefully i'm not that far off with what i'm thinking and that's kind of what popped into my head work on you for you um, okay, I think I want to use this one since we're sticking to like a purple theme. So maybe I can place these here. I just feel like I need to go sticker crazy with this spread because oh, I just need a lot of self love and self care, even though I'll sometimes. I do feel a little bit selfish whenever I do anything for myself. I don't know. I just feel like I'm all about my kids. And if I do anything for myself, then 
I am not taking care of them. But that's why I love this sticker book because it reminds me that I am able to do things for myself and not feel guilty about it. So I feel like this is, this is done. So let's go ahead and go over here to the daily pages and I'm going to start off by using my shipping labels to cut some some of these down so I can cover up the existing headings and then place my own. So I want to start with this one. I just feel like bringing in some washi and headings bring a little bit more color and then I'm able to use the headings that work for me and I love that I'm able to do that. So let's see. Let's cover this one up as well. And then maybe this one too, even though I ended up adding some element here last week instead of washi tape. But even if I add some sort of decoration, I feel like I still need to cover it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And then I'm going to cover up the notes over here. Okay, there we go. So now comes the fun part. Now I can see what I want to decorate. So I know for sure that I want to add washi tape up here where today's schedule used to be and cut it like at an angle. So let's see. Okay. So I think right there, and then, what did I do last week? So last week, let's go ahead and do this one here. Then I'm going to skip this one, and then add it there. Sometimes I feel like this washi is way too thick for this little space. But I'm going to try to make it work. Because I don't want to cover up any of these boxes because this is where I put my Apple Watch stats and so I need the lines here so I didn't cover them up here but I did I did lose some space down here but I think I'm still going to be okay so now now let's see so I know for sure that I want to use this page because it is just way too adorable not to use and then maybe I could alternate between like the fashion girls here and quotes so like I'm already looking at this one self-care comes first and I'm thinking maybe that could be like the first one but it might be too long for this space so I can cut it up if I need to, or maybe like this one. There's just so many options with what you can do. Lots of quotes. I love, love the quotes. Okay, so let's see. I love that this fence has some florals. I think I am obsessed with this one. So let's place this down here. That way I know how many bullet points I am able to make. Okay, so that looks great already. So let's see. Let's start off with up here on 8. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I usually go to 6, but because we added the fence, I am only going to go to 4. And I'm completely okay with that. And so now what I want to do is finish up this page of to-do script stickers. 
so I can continue the next page. So there's my to-do list. And then what do I place here? Oh, bills due. Um, but where did I put all of my stickers? I feel like I kind of just threw them all over the place. Oh, here they are. Okay. So, bill due goes here. And then we have hydrate down over here. So, last week I didn't do a great job of going out for walks in the morning or in the evening. We were actually just so busy and like in the evening, we were doing um, cutting the grass and just um, like cutting my dog's hair. I did that one day and pulling out the weeds. And so we hadn't, haven't been able to go out for an evening walk. And I don't think this week is going to be any better. So that just kind of bums me out. But we're going to do what we need to do. Okay, so now that I have this actual little fence there, I can either add one of these and keep the same theme here, or possibly use this one. I just, I'm just super obsessed with her. And I'm thinking that instead of doing it like this, because like I mentioned, it, this sticker is way too tall for this little space. So what I'm thinking of doing is probably cutting it and placing the girl there and the quote right next to it, just like this one and just like this one too. So unless I use like a smaller girl as well. Okay. Let me just grab this one because sometimes I just need to, to just do it. So see, it is way too long. Okay, here we go. And then we can just place it like right here. Yeah, that's going to work amazing actually. So maybe right about here so let's place her down first there we go and then this one can just go right on top okay that is beautiful i love that i think it looks so pretty and i love that this sticker bag has florals already and i don't have to use um another set of florals from somewhere else like i can just use this Okay, so let's go back to that decorative page and see what little decorations we could use because I want to maybe use one here and one here. Okay, let's see which one would work best. I am looking at this little plant and I don't know, I don't, I can't be taken away from this first line. And if I have a bill due, I have that little line right there, which is enough. I think I may just have one bill do this day. So that ends up working out, which is perfect. So then in that space, I need to put my Apple Watch script. And I think it covers it up so beautifully. There we go. Okay, so now I just need to work on this little note section. And so... Did I want to add, okay, I think I saw like these little things. And maybe I can just place it maybe 
something like this. And then, okay, so maybe like that. And then I can place my out for walk sticker. Okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, this is coming out way too cute. So now let's go ahead and add the little dots. So I add three dots for my water intake because I am just starting out drinking water and I feel like three is enough because if I go on a morning walk, I drink one then and then if I go on an evening walk, I drink another one and then I can sneak one in like in the middle of the day. So I feel like three is doable because I am so, so bad at drinking water. Oh, but I know it's it's for my own good. So here is how I set up my daily pages. I have my to-do list for the day, any bills due, my Apple Watch stats here, my water intake, and if I go out for a walk and move my body and all of that. So that's basically how I set up my pages. And so instead of having you guys watch me decorate all of these, I, I'll just go ahead and come back once these pages are all done okay so there we go i absolutely love the way that everything turned out it is so pretty so as far as the weekend goes i don't cover up these little headers just because i feel like i cover up um all of these ones down here so i don't want it to look too cluttered so i don't cover that up but i do cover these up and let's go ahead and just clean everything off and i did end up using the whole sticker sheet which i am so proud of because it was such a beautiful sheet so again make sure that you guys use code stephanie 10 so you guys can save 10 percent off of your wrong wrong order and let's also bring in my note tape cover these covers are also linked down in the description box below if you guys are ever interested in getting one for yourselves which fit go get a girl or erin condren seven by nine or um happy planner classic and even your um what am i trying to think of plum paper so any regular planner will fit. So that is always linked down below as well. So here is the weekly view. I love the way that this turned out, even though it was a hot mess express um, right off the bat, but I think it ended up working out. So there's my weekly view and then we get to the daily pages. So because this ended up covering up a lot of the space, which I cannot afford to do, I did end up um, using washi tape here and sometimes down here as well. But I did alternate between like a fashion girl and just cute little stickers. I did go sticker crazy here, but I just couldn't help myself. All of these stickers are so beautiful. So like right here, I did just end up adding washi tape and added my little Apple Watch header. And so I did add a cute little element down here at the bottom. Here's the little bucket with a cute quote. And here is Friday and um, the weekend. So I love these stickers. I think it turned out so pretty. I hope that these self-love stickers um, help me and remind me to take a little time for myself but i really like the way that everything turned out like i said let me know if you guys stuck and finished out your current go get a girl planner or if you're going to be starting your new planner so definitely let me know down below but for now i really really love the way that this turned out so if you like this video please consider subscribing and don't forget to check me over on instagram at stephanie happily plants and i'll see you next time